Hey everybody, thanks for joining me outside on Outside with Jeff. Today I'm going to be doing some adjustments to this chain link fence. I need to close the gap a little bit and I'm also going to lift the, lift the gate up slightly. So let's take a look and see what we got to do. Alright, so when I'm done with the fence adjustment, I should be able to swing the fence inside if I would like to. It's really tight going out right now, so I'm going to be fixing that. And then I should have less of a gap uh, between this post here. Um, that is the goal, and that is what we're that is what we're trying to accomplish. A little bit less gap here, and being able to swing it without dragging the ground. So let's get to it. Show you what we need to do. And the tools I'm gonna need is I have a 9 16th open in box in wrench. I have some WD-40 in case I need it. And I have a hammer to do some slight um, adjustments as needed. We're gonna be making adjustments to this hinge here, to this fitting. We're gonna loosen it up. We're gonna knock the fence up a little bit and we're gonna rotate it this way. Knocking it up is obviously gonna raise the gate off the ground turning it towards us is going to close the gap over here and then we'll be doing the same on the bottom we'll be lifting the uh, hinge up and we'll be turning it in this way start i'm going to shoot just a little bit of wd on these threads just to help them turn a little bit better. Okay. And go up, loosens it. Not sure how loose we're gonna have to get it before we can start making our adjustments. We'll just have to see. Give it a couple more turns. And then we'll get the hammer. And we'll make a couple of taps. Okay. Now we'll do the same on the bottom. And do the same on the bottom. And loosen it up. Give it a couple taps. I want to make sure that the top bracket and the bottom bracket are in line. We'll come over to the gate. Check it out. Closes. Excellent. Now, we're going to want to lift it a little bit. Perfect. Come to the bottom. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, looks good. Like I said, I don't want it to swing in. I just want it to swing out less inhibited. You can see it's been dragging quite a while. Now it swings freely. A moment ago, before I made this adjustment, I'd have to push on it the entire time to get it going. Now it swings freely. 
as you can see it latches down no problem fantastic latches down no problem looks like i went up about an inch on top and bottom now i just want to i want to make sure this bracket is in line with the bottom bracket so nothing's in a bind so we're going to come over this way we're going to look it up and down here there's the bottom there's the top we're going to make sure those are in line and then we're going to tighten everything up okay looks like the bottom one needs to be kicked over just a little bit That's good. Gate comes down. That's good. Gotta go up a little bit to make sure that's fully seated. It's And then while you're holding it, you need to tighten it so that it doesn't slip back down on us. Ah, there we go. Got it all lined up. Shuts, latches, everything's good. Tighten the top up. Get it good and snug. Don't want to have any issues down the line. Having the right tool for the job makes things a lot easier, for sure. All right, everything's snugged up. It's not going anywhere. Pick up the tools. Aha, nice. Fantastic. So as you can see, in about 10 minutes, we took a gate that would not open easily. Now it opens no problem. Swings without any issues. Raise the height on it. It's now level with that fence over there. And we took the gap, took a large portion of the gap out made it so it shuts no problem now this acts as a good secure gate that's all there's to it so if you have a chain link fence gate that's out of alignment and needs adjusted these are the steps you need to take to get that taken care of have a great day